and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Naya Party Bus. That's right, we have a sweet donation deck here. We are getting some Enter the Battlefield creatures and putting them all on the Party Bus here. That's right, Lumbering Battlement. Oh, like, look at that party there. All just all having fun there on that party bus. So that's what we're doing here. Um, Ilharg seems really interesting with Lumbering Battlement too, where if you attack with Ilharg, put in Lumbering Battlement, uh, you can exile some ETB creatures like Jade Light or Merfolk Branchwalker or so, <clears throat> and make the Lumbering Battlement really big. And then whenever you put the battlement back in your hand, then you get your creatures back and they get to do their ETB things again. Um, that sounds pretty awesome. We got Vivian to give our, all of our stuff flash, including flashing in battlement in response to like removal spells <laughs> and everything like that. Um, yeah, this looks just really sweet. Um, that's, that's what we're going to be trying to do, uh, do all this stuff. Daredevil is just a really awesome card. Uh, <clears throat> you know, using your opponent's spells against them, using their removal, uh, bl blinking it back out and everything like that. Yeah, this, this does sound like a lot of fun. And so, yeah, let's just get to it. Here we go. Naya Party Bus. Let's get everybody up on this Party Bus. I guess we shouldn't have this as the art, though. We should have the Battlement. Yeah. Get our Party Bus. All right. Uh, Tristani is all about that Party Bus. Here we go. This deck looks a lot of fun. Yeah, only only two of the the portals, the blinks, because um, you know our battlement can other, also blink things, and <clears throat> you of course need your other stuff in play before the blink does anything. Yeah. Ooh, you put an Endra's Forerunners in here with Ilharg? That does have some potential there. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Coming in right at a good time here. We're getting Naya Party Bus started. You were skeptical about Dire Fleet when I first crafted the Naya Value deck from a few months ago, but that card was awesome, yeah. Yeah, it really was, wasn't it? Um, Dire Fleet Daredevil with, at the time, with a Johnny mentor of heroes that would bring it back and so you didn't have to spend your mana on it. That was awesome. Um, I've been even thinking about that of like having like a Mardu, a Mardu deck like that with Dire Fleet. I don't even know if it needs to be Mardu or just Black White, but I, did, I basically I want to play. Um, okay, get this started. I want to play. Playcrafter, there we go. Playcrafter and Soren is like what I want to do. I want to um, be able to like play Playcrafter, make people sack their planeswalkers with all these planeswalkers around, and then like Soren minus get Playcrafter back. Battlement with Cruel Celebrant. Well, Cruel Celebrant is just whenever your creatures die, correct? And Battlement doesn't make creatures die. It's not when creatures leave the battlefield, right? And attack. Yeah, our Burial Grazer here. Blocking their Thief. <laughs> They're just trading Thief for Branch Walker now.
Tapped. Tapped. Well, this is kind of all we got. Hmm. No. So I want Ravager Worm to be able to kill something. Yeah, it's the other way. Yeah, Thief. They blocked my Branch Walker with a Thief. Because they couldn't get through with. Um, they couldn't get through with their. Thief because of Grazer. All right, Mr. Chomps, coming in. They're up to six cards over there now. Flooding out here. <laughs> Attack with the grazers. I would really like... Like, one of our blinks would be really nice, where we could blink Ravager Worm and eat the Escanta. That card's cool. Trophy the Ravager Worm. Oh, yeah, we're playing Daredevils? Oh, man, Daredevil would be great to draw. I mean, it's just a... Daredevil is just Chupacabra right now. But... No, my daredevil. The problem with waiting for the Ascanta to flip with the Ravager Worm is that I'm sure our opponent's deck is a... I'm sure their deck is a... Um, what's it called? Is you know, you know, like I'm sure they're playing a bunch of thought erasures and just like trying to wait for thought er and um, get thought erasured is not great. So minusing means my Vivian's gonna die to the crisis. Starting over is the only way. If I plus, I could you know plus on the Ilharg. Oh wait, wait, wait the Grazer has reach. That's right. Grazer can protect Vivian. Yeah. 
Yeah, Vivian's tick up does give reach. And vigilance. But that's what I was thinking. That like I was thinking if I tick up with on the ill harg with their as canta, they're just gonna find something that gets rid of the ill harg anyway. And so might as well just try to dig for more things, more creatures, maybe find a daredevil if we're lucky. So I didn't think it was worth it giving Ilharg Vigilance and Reach there. I'm really surprised they let me attack with that Ilharg. If I had like a Ronus or something here. Obviously we just have lands, we have nothing to punish them, but it's possible we could have. Yeah, the Simic Lantern deck was really cool, Shogun. Alright, another Daredevil. I feel that they're playing Thief of Sanity that we want Tristani. Definitely want all of our card advantage stuff. All right, so I think it's Wild Growth Walker for sure, and honestly, it's probably Grazer. How many creatures is this? 27 right now. I think it's Grazer and then one of our fives. I'm going to get rid of one of the Ilhargs. Domri's not wouldn't be a, a bad card to get rid of here. We have seen them um, have a good amount of creatures that we want to fight. Uh, you know, like Thief of Sanity, for example. They could be going away from Thief of Sanity, though, here as well. But we do have, like, a, a decent amount of expensive cards, which is where I like having the Domri's to help out help get our more expensive cards earlier. 
Getting rid of Knight of Autumn because I want some more lands. Hmm. So that means Thief. That's gotta mean thief. No thief. No, no! Ugh, lag. I definitely wanted find finality and get these cards back with find. Certainly what I wanted was find finality. Blah, it's hostage taker. Duress was just the worst possible card because thought, like, thought erasure would have been better. Yeah, we haven't drawn the party bus yet. That was really disappointing. All right, let's draw a Planeswalker here, please. I guess they have a Contempt still, but there we go. All right, we're definitely minusing. Are much more reliable than he. Let me show you what was lost. That's a good one. Just a good turn. So we can cast a sorcery on their turn with Daredevil, right? Like we flash in Daredevil on their turn and cast Find. That works, right? Why is our card on fire? Look at that, like the top of that. It's on fire. No, y'all say I cannot cast find on their turn? Well, no, I need to... Obviously, I can't do it right now. It'd be the next turn. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not... I can't do it right now. I don't have the mana, obviously. But I'm talking about next turn when I untap. Well, so, yeah, so basically, can I can I go to their turn with Flash? I guess, I guess, no reason to risk it. There is wonder. In so yeah, we'll we'll just do it right now then, since y'all, yeah, y'all are saying it's sorcery. So like, yeah, it's still the best thing for me to do. We can go get Daredevil, another Daredevil back and Tristani. <clears throat> I 
Daredevil Find Finality, uh, getting back Daredevil is sweet. Used to do that all the time with that Naya Value deck against the Golgari, which was really popular. That was, you know, before before Hydra Crisis, you know, turned it into Soul Tie. So yeah, the point the point I'm struggling with is if I just would have passed turn here instead of casting the find. See, that's that's the card that I was worried about was Thought Erasure. So if I would have just passed turn, could I have Daredeviled plus find on their turn? I, I don't know if I could have or not. Because because of this card, I wanted to do that. I wanted to wait on their turn. I just don't know how that would have worked. If you can Daredevil a sorcery. Because it says you may cast that card this turn. Scars are lessons written in skin. Yeah, it says that we can cast it this turn, but correct, we cannot cast sorceries on their turn. But it's just all, it's all weird. I just don't know how that works at all. I honestly just don't know how that would work. Better be careful. I'm all right, Nada. For the fallen. Um... The effects of Dire Fleet Daredevil doesn't change when you can cast the Exile card. For example, if you Exile a Sorcery, you can cast it only during your main phase when the stack is empty. Okay. Good to know. Oh, Good to know. Like you're all mouth and no hands. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. Share in my light. You fight like a city brat. This daredevil has indestructible vigilance, reach, and first strike. <laughs> the old indestructible reach, vigilant, first strike. Daredevil. Okay, so I. So good to. So. We could not have cast. Uh, gross. Yeah, I guess so. Bravery wasn't enough. All things begin and end in nature. Hmm. Interesting. Oh wait, this is, I can only get creatures. All right, bus time. Party bus.
All right, Daredevil, get on this party bus. This thing already has vigilance. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. to seeing you running away wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance good job Domri uh, so I can't enter the god eternals that's annoying I guess I just sacrifice Domri, I guess. I mean, I can get Daredevil and Contempt the Night of Autumn, and then the Daredevil is a 3 1. Oh, I could Tyrant Scorn. That's even better. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay, found the line. So, yeah, Tyrant Scorn. Bounce the Night of Autumn. Have the Night of Autumn destroy this Eldest Reborn. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Strike now! Strike hard! And of course we can still flash in the branch walker even if they have like a ritual of soot. Alright. Next game. So they did keep in Thief of Sanity. I feel like I should have Tulsimer against Thief of Sanity and Hostage Taker. I don't care about that. Yeah, Tulsimer sounds sweet here. <clears throat> Let's get rid of a Gideon on the draw. And uh, maybe I want to just get rid of Gideon. Have a Grazer in. This curve is really high, there's a ton of fives. Maybe play a grazer over a raise bore. Okay, that's the plan. Party bus! Yeah, we drew the party bus. We won the game. Yeah, this is the first match. That was game That was game two. We lost game one. We did not draw party bus game one. Well, we didn't draw party bus technically either. We found it with... This can work. We found it with uh, Vivian. So basically keeping a whole bunch of lands against the Thought Erasure deck make their Thought Erasures worse. I I wish we didn't draw the Phoenix immediately right then, because that Phoenix is a really good card to Thought Erasure away. Now we want to draw Dire Fleet Daredevil. Come on, Dire Fleet Daredevil. We got four of them in here. We want Dire Fleet Daredevil. All right, well, Phoenix. Boo. 
boo. Okay. No. So they got four cards, we got four cards. Both have five lands on the battlefield. Um, I guess it's just party bus time. So just a four or five. I don't think I play the Ravager Worm first. I think I try to eat something with the Ravager Worm. Tilt. It's an empty bus, yeah. Buses still hit hard, even when they're empty. Well, I also I kept a six lander. I did keep a land heavy hand. Come on. There you go. Keep drawing more Thought Erasures. <laughs> no, put away a Duress. Ugh. I want you to draw Duresses. Well, they've seen, seen that card, so... This is perfect. They're going to have to kill my party bus, and whenever they do, we'll get the other party bus back. Because we have a bus inside a bus right now. Now that's a card. What do they have over there? It seems like they have a bunch of lands, too. I don't think we can have infinite life. Were they sitting with more negates? Okay, that's what they were sitting on it in, in hand. Yeah, we need a third bus to do to go infinite. I guess I'm only gonna put the one on the bus, so we have two lethal attackers here.
<laughs> we need more buses. All right, we have won every game that we have drawn a lumbering battlement. All right, let me do a reset here on Arena. I should have done it between leagues. I forgot to do it between leagues there. I should have done that. <laughs> All right, fun deck so far. Hey, Lacoza, good games. Yeah, GG's. Arena, why are you being slow now? Oh no, maybe I shouldn't have reset. Maybe Arena died. Yes, I do need a second PC. I know, I don't know what to get for the second PC still. But yes, I, I am planning on getting a second PC um, for the video capture. Because yeah, I have, have determined that that's, that's something I definitely need. <laughs> Thanks, Lolly Yeager. Yeah, we have a lot of fun here uh, playing different decks all the time. Soda, hey, going to Kansas City Magic Fest this weekend. How do you feel about this deck? And what would you cut a Tamiyo in the main? So what would we cut for a Tamiyo here in this Bant deck? Yeah, the hand looks good. I would cut the fourth Vivian Champion of the Wilds for a Tamiyo. If you really don't want to cut that, could also cut the a, the fourth crisis, but that doesn't seem very good. That crisis seems awesome. All right, well, this is definitely something I was a little worried about. Was a big wild growth walker. All right, we're gonna need to just. Oh no. Huh. Play this first, then Jade Light, and then Battlement. I don't think you should be worried about having too much red hate. I think red is just really, really strong, and there's not really anything like too much red hate, honestly. If we meet again. So playing the Phoenix to try to help protect us. Not looking so good for us. Oh, I don't know if I can shock. I want to shock so I can portal. I mean, I would love to. I would have loved just to have the regular land drop and not have to shock.
We can't really beat our opponent having anything. That's something. Let's tear this play. Draw and fire. Ha. I've seen worse. We just have to Yeah, no, it was a really good, really good hand for our opponent. It really doesn't get too much better than what they had there. You know, curving Elf into Walker, into Jade Light, into Golgari Queen, into another Walker and, and another Jade Light, into a Vivian. This is a, just a great curve for them. I think I'd rather have Ixalan's Binding than Prison Realm, but yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking that too. That like, some kind of permanent exile removal like that could be nice here. Just three Daredevil. So basically, if I want to play Lava Coils, what do I want to cut? Knight of Autumns. Go. And then Grazers. No, Gideon's going to be way too slow. Um... Play Tristani. Let's just go like this. Oh, yeah, Red God with Palaka Worms. Yeah, that's a good combo. Alright, no Wild Growth Walker over there. Good sign. Let's draw a forest, please. We need another green source to be able to play Jade Light. Forest. Okay. Here we go. I'm really glad they kept the Carnage Tyrant because that's not a card that's going to beat us. It's not a card I'm worried about at all. Okay, we need to draw we need to draw one more green source. And go double jade light next turn, attack with Ilharg, put in battlement. Come on, draw a green source. 
Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Wow. We are doing it. All right, here we go. Y'all ready for a turn? Here we go. We had we had our draw step plus we had a couple of looks. I don't know. I guess am I supposed to just ditch that so we go look for more lands? Let's save the Ilharg. So they can't just block the Ilharg. Attacking in for 12. Chump. End step. Put Palma back. Explore. <laughs> oh, that's the dream. 75 is our life total. Good luck, have fun. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. They're dead. Oh, that was awesome. Like, the, you, they just can't get out of that. It's the hard lock. That was awesome. Wow, that was so cool. <laughs> Best deck ever. That was really cool. We got pigs and party buses. What a combo. That little carnage tyrant was sitting over there all jealous. Can't deal with the pig and the party bus. If y'all clipped it, I put a there's a room in the Discord channel to put clips. If you if you clipped if you clipped those Put them in the Discord channel. All right, I think we'll we'll try this. You know, we need, we need to draw explore creatures to tie this together. But I like having a lava coal for their wild growth. And pigs in the pog. <laughs> pigs are clearing the way for the party bus. Well, those are not good draws so far. We need lands and explore creatures, not daredevils and ravager worms. Well, those are some poor draws for us when we need lands and explore creatures. We're 0 for 3 so far. Come on, land. Explore creature. Okay, land. You got a trophy here? So basically... I'm really worried about casualties of war. And so I wanted to try to keep them off of having six mana the next turn, and maybe they maybe they didn't just have a couple land drops. Because yeah, casualties of war is a card that I was definitely worried about. And I guess I'm just using these right now. Trophy. Jade Light, Jade Light, Jade Light, Jade Light. No. There's casualties of war. That's what I was trying to keep them from. Alright, Branch Walker, Branch Walker. 
No. Just pass the turn. Just have another land in hand. Are you kidding me? Another one of those? Yeah, we drew really bad this game. <laughs> Could not draw lands. And then they had the land destruction, land destruction stuff. Yeah, this is over. That's unfortunate. They had the Field of Ruin Crucible combo too. Well, that was unfortunate. 25 lands, not enough. <laughs> Yeah, I did take out the one mountain. There there was a yeah, you had a mountain in the deck <clears throat> and I took it out took it out cuz I didn't think I had enough white sources, so I put in like an extra cliff top retreat or sacred foundry, like one of those. I think sacred foundry. But yeah, I got got punished for not having that mountain and then we couldn't play Domri. The Domri turns out would have just died afterwards. Because uh, Casualties of War would have killed Domri. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had, had any trouble hitting land drops until that game. Oh well. No attacks. I don't really see any reason to play the Domri. Um, no, I'm not expecting the flashback time twister to break legacy. No, I'm not. I'm not expecting that to happen. Dang. Hey, Gatsby! Getting that pig party bus hype. Thanks, Gatsby. So we're going to be using Domri here to kill the Hellkite. Probably. But I guess they can kill my Ilharg now also with that activation. Where were all these lands last game? <laughs> these would have been perfect draws last game. Terrible draws this game. What a glorious day for 
some anarchy. So if I have the Ilharg fight Hellkite, then they just shoot the Ilharg with Hellkite also. And I would trade Il Ilharg for Hellkite. So this way I can trade Knight of Autumn and keep Ilharg around. Obviously Domri is going to die from the Hellkite ability. Domri would die either way. <laughs> they dealt one damage to Ilharg. So yeah, if I would have fought with Ilharg. Oh wait! Oh, but that doesn't have the plus one. Oh no! Ah, dang. I forgot about that part. I considered everything else, but I forgot about that. It wasn't... The, the Knight of Autumn wasn't have the plus one anymore. Alright, so we need all these coils. Need the Vivian... Um. Yeah, because Domri dies before the fight happens, so the the boost and power bonus goes away from the knight. Are they going to have like a whole bunch of coils? We just we need to not have nine lands. That's the biggest thing. We need to not have nine lands. <laughs> Thanks, Lolly Jaeger. Uh, what do I want to do? There's nothing that's like inherently bad in this matchup for us. Maybe I take out Little Domri. Fighting stuff profitably could be difficult. Because there's not very many flyers in the format right now and we have just coi we have coils and little vivian gives reach there's there's just not very many flyers in the format and like two of the main flyers are rekindling phoenix and arc light phoenix and uh collision's not very good against either phoenix cuz they come back but yeah, Coloss giving giving the bus trample with Colossus is kind of nice. That that's nice. All right, one more land. Come on, deck. Sacred Foundry was perfect. Let's get one more. Land, please. All right, that was... That works out. We get to coil this and play Branch Walker. That works out quite well. Perfect. Great turn. We want to play Ilharg and have Ilharg put in, you know, like, Worm. Or, uh, I guess we could put in... Battlements as well. How do you beat Drakes without it? I don't know. You have you have coils. Boo. Boo. Yeah, let's get this thing back. land I 
I was definitely greedy there, trying to hit a land drop and then play party bus as well. What is the best Planeswalker card if you only consider themselves alone and not the decks they're played in? I mean, do you are you are we considering like mana cost wise as well? Because, like, you know, like a planeswalker that costs six is going to be better than a planeswalker that costs three, for example. So, but like, do you just want like the very best, you know, which is going to be like one of the things that costs the very most, or do you want like best per mana cost ratio? So, I have the Knight of Autumn still in here because they're four threes, the matchup kind of well. We did see Lava Coils from them. So Lava Coil and Strike, which makes me want to put some more Daredevils in here. Yeah, if you're talking... Um, I bend the Phoenix because I was I knew we had the Raise Boar underneath that I wanted to draw the Raise Boar. I want another Daredevil... Am I just taking out this Vivian? Yeah, and I want to graze her on the draw to help speed me up. Taking out three mana Vivian because if we're behind, it's going to be tough to protect the Planeswalker. But anyway, um, yeah, if we're talking about... All right, so ab absolute best in standard... I think it's between, uh, so if it's just absolute best, um, I, the four that come to mind are Teferi, Hero of Dominaria, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, Liliana, Dreadhorde General, and Ugin. It's not Ugin the Spirit Dragon. What's Ugin? Whatever Ugin's name is. <laughs> this gives me something I can do next turn. Ugin the Ineffable. Ineffable. That's right. Um, I feel like one of those is probably the most powerful. Probably not Liliana, because Liliana's power is is really derived on your opponent playing creatures that you make them sacrifice multiple creatures kind of thing. So individually on its own, 
Yeah, I would say note. I would think Ugin's better than Liliana because it can get rid of anything and also spread. gets you two twos that give you card advantage. I mean, I guess they both kind of give you two twos that give you card advantage, to be honest. Um, but if the Liliana gets removed, like if the Ugin gets removed, it'll still give you more card advantage. Let's balance comes. Vraska six is worse than Liliana six and Ugin six. The wilds are my shield. Um. Yeah, so I think it's between Ugin, Teferi, and Nicol Bolas. And honestly, I think it's honestly I think it's Nicol Bolas. Draw a card plus have them exile. A permanent or card in hand exile a resource so you gain a resource like that's better than draw a card on tap two the thing is is teferi tuck is better than nickel bolus minus okay so you've got that tuck is better than yeah the tuck's better than nickel bolus is minus but the plus for nickel bolus is better than teferi's and the minuses are I mean, they're both very close, but I think I think draw a card, make them exile. A permanent is better than is enough better than the tuck is to the minus that I would give the edge to Nicol Bolas. And then yeah, you, then you also add on the the fact that you have that other extra the other ability to just be able to do anything that other planeswalkers do also um yeah and give it to nickel bolus also if you're talking about just any planeswalker possible the <laughs> the, the, the bolus that out. is that's a good one nickel bolus the arisen is your best planeswalker in standard if you if you count the other half of nickel bolus but of course it costs like 11 total mana to get I've there that would break but nickel bolus the like arisen you. is the the actual just best um Why is Tuck better than Destroy? Because, um, yeah, graveyard stuff. Uh, yeah, sure, grave, graveyard interactions have to do with it. But then also, um, like, there's permanents that are harder to get rid of, like getting rid of a Rekindling Phoenix. Like, Nickel Bulls can't minus and kill a Rekindling Phoenix, but Teferi can tuck it. Teferi can also tuck um, any permanent, including... Oh, you Artifacts, seen? enchantments, where Nickel Bolas only kills creatures and planeswalkers. Nickel Bolas is minus is do doesn't get rid of enchantments, for you example. Can't stop nature. I'll be back, just like before. That shock on my... That shock on the Ravager Worm really killed me, though. That was rough. 
Now they have Vivian Ultimate. Good game. All right, well, even though we went, I mean, I I do regret, I don't know. Well, I guess even if I took Phoenix, I guess it wasn't really going to help us out too much. I don't know. That, yeah, we just can't really deal with that. So we had some really fun games in here, really good games and everything. It does seem like we need a little bit of Planeswalker removal. Like we need some, like, Ixalan's Binding or the cheaper one, the three-mana one. Uh, something to some kind of enchantment removal there in the sideboard. Um, probably over the. F so is binding better than Prism Realm? I see a lot of people playing Prison Realm these days. It costs one less than it scries. But this. Also targets artifacts and enchantments where Prison Realm doesn't. So, you know, like if you play against the Wilderness Reclamation player. Um, or, you know, you can get as Kanta. And this getting like a, a any of the, either of the Teferis means they can't just play a different Teferi. Get rid of it. I think we could use two Ixalan's Bindings in the sideboard. I think one goes in for one of the four Lava Coils. Like, you don't need four Lava Coils and Bindings. And, like, Binding also hits Experimental Frenzy against Red. Like, that's a big thing. That Prison Realm, like, against Red, you can't, you know, you can't hit Frenzy. But this hits Frenzy. Yeah, we don't have, like, a ton of four drops anyway. So that's one spot. And I think, I think we just take out the Tulsimer, actually. I don't think we need the Tulsimer. Yeah, so I think I think that's one thing to kind of um, help the deck just a tiny bit, get a couple bindings in there. Okay, I think that's a good a good upgrade on the sideboard. Yeah, like imagine like that matchup if we if we binding the that five mana Vivian, uh, then they couldn't play like another five mana Vivian to destroy the binding. You know, like they're they're basically just locked out of Vivian's there. Yeah. Yeah, Arcbow. Honestly, Arcbow is is better than Portal, honestly. Like we have the portals in here because they can do some like really cool stuff with Battlement. But honestly Arcbow would be a better card. Yeah, we have 29 creatures and so some of those games that we were losing, like, you know, like we just saw there, were just flooding out by quite a bit and having something that can go find more things. You know, like Arcbow would be able to find more battlements. Honestly, Portal Portal is cute, but it's honestly just not that good of a card. Even though it's cute. So, yeah, if you want Arcbow's, Arcbow's going to be a better card for sure there. Let you do something with like the extra lands because the explore creatures can certainly give you extra lands, especially if you are getting, especially if you're exiling the explore creatures, bringing them back. You'll just get extra lands. Yeah, you probably need more time playing with it, Sergeant Dimples. Hey, what's up, Eisen F? But yeah, it's your, it's your help at flooding out this is cool uh we had a couple of real good games there i uh, got to do some real cool stuff with ilharg and battlement especially that one game was just perfect um if anybody has that clip still that that was awesome uh that game two against um the golgari deck that was really sweet all right so there's naya party bus a lot of fun if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, please hit the like button over there and the subscribe button would be nice as well. Uh